I'm Dr. Dan Gartenberg, founder of Sleep Space, and I'm going to give you a video tutorial here of what to expect when you download our software that integrates and augments many wearables and also includes ways of tracking sleep without touching you, what we call nearable sleep tracking. So if you've already downloaded Sleep Space, you can access our tutorial in this uh, nine step guide here. And if you haven't downloaded yet, this is the first thing that you'll see. So what's unique to Sleep Space is we have a sleep journey, which is a structured experience of sounds at your wind down time, um, throughout sleep, and then at your wake up time. And in this tutorial, you're gonna set up what your ideal sounds are at those three stages. So um, you can set the duration of your wind down. It's good to start winding down um, before you actually try to go to bed and uniquely will adjust sounds in order to augment your deep sleep and then wake you up in a lighter stage of sleep with our smart alarm clock. Now the first thing is to give you accurate feedback about your sleep, we need to know what your sleep need is. So the American Academy of Sleep Medicine um, has a consensus report stating that the average adult needs seven to nine hours of sleep over a 24 hour period. So this is including naps. And we think about sleep, this is not actually time in bed, but it's actual sleep. And I know after studying myself quite a bit, I need around seven hours and 40 minutes in order to not feel tired throughout the day. But I'll usually need to spend more than eight hours in, or in bed in order to get that sleep amount, which is pretty normal. And based on this, you'll actually get different recovery score feedback based on the sleep need that you set. Now the next thing is in your sleep journey is starting your bedtime reminder. So sleep happens about an hour before, um, you know, winding down to sleep well, you need to wind down about an hour before your bedtime. Uh, as little as 30 minutes or 10 minutes could be effective too. So I'm a little bit of a night owl lately. I do an iteration of work uh, towards the nighttime. So my bedtime goal is around 11.45. So I'll get a notification at 1045 that now is a good time to start my sleep journey. And um, if I'm particularly wound up, I might take an hour um, to, to wind down and you can select various sounds here, meditations, we have gratitude meditations. I like to do ocean waves particularly um, and you can test it out here. And so this is the first sound that you'll experience in your sleep journey. This will flow into a sound machine, a smart sound machine that plays sounds um, at your ideal um, times in sleep. And so we'll ramp up the sound to more effectively block noise pollution uh, when we detect you're asleep. And we'll also play a regenerative delta wave when we detect you're in a deep sleep state. It'll work effectively with an Apple Watch. You can also place your phone on your bed or it can integrate with our sleep space smart bed um, we invented this because we wanted to place sounds very precisely on one side of the bed. Um, so getting the phone in the same place every night um, and measuring micro motions through the mattress allows us to do that using that mechanism. And then finally, you set your wake up sound. So I like to wake up to bird sounds. Uh, some people like to do this 528 hertz sound. And we can set it to wake up um, you know, at your alarm time here, I'm gonna do 7.15. And by setting a smart alarm, it'll ramp up over 10 minutes. So usually it'll wake me up at around 7.20, even though I set it to 7.15. You can turn this off if you wanna be very precise about your wake up time. But really waking up gradually is the right way to wake up. Um, this will prevent stress hormones from activating in the morning um, and you'll have less brain fog. And then finally, this is just an overview of the ways you can track. We can integrate with various wearables, place your phone on your bed. Um, it'll also work just placing your phone on your nightstand, um, but it won't be quite as accurate. Uh, the Sleep Space Smart Bed will also reflect EMF if you're concerned about that. Um, and it'll also work completely offline, so it'll, we'll address that, we address all those concerns. And additionally, you can track in these ways, but also use a sleep diary to measure your perceptions of sleep in addition to these methods of tracking. Um, so they're not mutually exclusive, you can do both, and your perceptions can actually be a really important measure. 
And then finally, once we collect the data, you can get customized feedback on your circadian rhythm based on your unique sleep patterns. So everyone has a morning peak, everyone has an afternoon dip, and everyone usually has a second wind. Um, you know, depending on how much you sleep and when you sleep, you can predict these things. So you can activate notifications around those. And that's it. Finally, you know, you have a sleep coach in your pocket now. So you get 24-7 support from um, our chatbot and our team of coaches when you use Sleep Space. We'll answer any questions and sleep challenges that you might have. We also have sleep programs tailored around falling asleep, staying asleep, and getting a deeper night of sleep. So now every night before I go to bed, you press the start sleep journey, um, and this will activate the sleep tracking and the dynamic sounds to enhance the quality of your sleep. And that is basically it. Um, again, here's the circadian rhythm. You can have your list of various sounds and meditations to wind you down at any time. And here's our sleep coaches, Dr. Snooze AI, and our various sleep programs that you can select from and optimize for. So feel free to drop any comments. Um, I'm here to answer any questions and navigate all of your sleep challenges. So have a good sleep tonight.